this is a number and this is 70,000 of them. And today I'm going to be teaching an AI to recognize these handwritten numbers. In fact, I'm going to train multiple models from incredibly simple models to very complex ones. And at the end, I'm going to test if any of my models can get 99% accuracy. We're going to train four models, a super dumb one, a less dumb one, a pretty smart one, and AlexNet. Each is going to be smarter than the previous, and so it's going to learn the numbers better. But we'll get to those in a sec. So, the way this is going to work is that we're going to feed the AI a bunch of images so it can learn the numbers. We're going to be using the MNIST dataset, which is a dataset of 70,000 28 by 28 pixel grayscale images of 100 digits. This dataset is commonly used to test and train image recognition models, and it's kind of like the first thing you do when you learn about neural networks. So, I'm going to split the 70,000 images into two groups. A group of 60,000 images with which I'm going to train the model, and a group of 10,000 images with which I'm going to test the model. So, I'm going to give each model the first group of images so it can study, and then I'm going to quiz it on the other group. Let's start with a super dumb model. It would only have one layer. This is what's called a simple linear classifier. Okay, so let's first download the dataset, and here we have it. As you can see, each image comes with the correct label, so what we can do is pass a random image through the model and see what it predicts. Then we can calculate how wrong our model was and adjust all the little parameters to do better and better each time. This is what's called backpropagation. I'm not even going to attempt to explain how this works because first, I'm not nearly qualified enough to do it. And secondly, there are a bunch of great YouTube videos explaining this concept. So I'll link some of them down below. And after you do this enough times, the model gets better and better until it reaches a point where it stops improving and actually starts to get worse and worse. But anyway, let's get back to the model. Okay, so the super dumb model took a whopping 19 seconds to train. And look at that, it has an accuracy of 91.29%. Holy shit, that's pretty good. So this means that for every 10 images, it gets one wrong. So for example, in this case, it thought this was an 8 and it thought this was a 6. And to be honest, I can see this being a difficult 5 to guess. However, it also got wrong some really easy numbers. Like, look at this 4 right here. Come on man, that's, that's an easy 4. But don't worry, because that's when our next model comes in. The less dumb model. For this, I'm gonna max out the middle layers. It's gonna go from having only one neuron to having 256. And I'm gonna have two of those layers. Yeah, baby, let's go. And remember, we're trying to hit 99% accuracy. So maybe we can even hit it with this model. Okay, let's train it. And after only 35.6 seconds, we have 92% accuracy. Okay, okay, that's a 0.96% improvement. I'll take that. But not gonna lie, I thought this would go much better. I still can't really understand why this isn't performing better, and I even tried to train it for longer, but it didn't work. I think it has to do with the number of weights and biases our model has, but honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's still a great accuracy, but it's still getting really basic numbers wrong. Let's move on to the next model, the pretty smart one. This is going to be a CNN, or in other words, a convolutional neural network. And here the structure of our network completely changes. So instead of just having a fully connected neural network, now we also are gonna have something called feature extraction. So before passing the image to our network, we're going to extract the main features of that image. And we do this through convolutions, which are basically filters and different ways to analyze the image. So now, instead of just passing 784 pixel values to our network, we're calculating the main features of that image and then passing them to our model. Again, completely unqualified to be talking about this, so I'll link some videos down below. And so the structure of the pretty smart model is this, a feature extraction block that has convolutional layers and max pooling, and also our good old linear classifier. Let's train it and see what happens. Okay, 97% accuracy on this first training group. 98 on the second one. This is going great, we might actually hit 99. 00, 98.5, 98.6. Whoa, almost there. And this only took 96 seconds to train and it got 98.6% accuracy. That's pretty impressive. 
Look at this beast, it's getting almost every number right, and the ones he's not getting are difficult to get. This 5 right here kind of looked like a Z, so that's why it got it wrong. And come on, this 0 right here hasn't even been fully drawn. These are all numbers I got from the MNIST dataset, but I wanted to see if it could recognize numbers that I draw. So let's hop over to Photoshop and draw a little bit. I'm going to draw 20 numbers and the first 10 are going to be like really easy. These ones or models should get it like easy peasy. And then I'm going to draw 10 other images that I think should be a little bit harder. And here are the results. It looks like our model got every image right except the 9. And I don't know in what world that's a 3, but okay, I'll, I'll let that slip. Let's check out the hard images. Honestly, not bad. It got every image right except this one. The model predicted a 7 for this number, and I get that, it kind of looks like a 7. And if we look at the probabilities from the model, we can see that it's 76% sure that it's a 7 and 5% sure that it's a 1. So not too bad. And now the moment we have all been waiting for, Alexnet. This puppy has a total of 5 convolution layers, 5 ReLU activation function, max pooling, and 8192 interconnected neurons. It's a beast. There's only one thing left to do. Train it and see if it has an accuracy of 99%. This is it. And after exactly 10 minutes and 10 seconds, we have 99.21% accuracy. Woo! Let's go. We did it. Just look at this, AlexNet is classifying numbers left and right and getting every one of them correct. I mean, just look at this confusion matrix. This shows the predicted values against the true values so we can see how well our model is performing. And just look at this, it's getting almost everything right. Maybe the only problem it's having is that it's predicting some sevens as twos. But besides that, it's perfect. And just as a side note, now that we have trained this model, we can use it with other datasets. For example, the Fashion Eminist, which is a dataset just like Eminist, but instead of numbers, there's images of pieces of clothing. I linked all the code I use for the model, so you can play around and change anything you want. It's on Google Collab Notebook, so it runs on Google servers, and your computer doesn't have to lift a finger. Also, if you want to try this, make sure to change the runtime settings to the GPU so it runs faster. Consider donating to my fundraiser. I'm trying to raise $10,000 for diabetes by the end of 2023. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.